Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. How's it going? to do another reading, uh, impromptu reading, it has no date, it's just uh, posing a question and asking spirit to give the answer. So what I'm, <clears throat> sorry, what I'm drawn to ask is how do they feel about me? So spirit, please give us some guidance. How does the other feel about me? Um, I think, yeah, I'll do a split elemental. Okay, so I'm just going to pull the cards. Now, with the elemental reading, um, there are four elements, so I'm going to continue to pull the cards until the entire, all the positions are filled. Okay, so first card, and the, all the chakras go at the top here. So we got a crown chakra activation. The alchemist for the mental space, chariot for the emotional space, the rock star for um, the spiritual space, and <laughs> wow, the um, knight of pentacles for the 3D reality. So all of the positions were filled almost immediately. That's pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to pull one more card for what the person is feeling in his soul or her soul, heart chakra. Um, wow. Okay, so what the heck, let's look at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups. So this would be the overall energy. The Knight of Cups is someone who is the romantic, who... Um, wants to be with you who wants to move forward with a connection wants to uh, make a commitment make you know offer their hand in marriage that kind of thing so it's a deep desire to move forward in the connection in the relationship so this doesn't mean that you're together but there, there's definitely that desire to move towards you so there's a lot of romantic feelings swirling around in this person's head the question was how do they feel about you and the answer is romance a desire to move forward all right so the heart chakra is activated so i'm just going to pull some more clarifiers with my other deck here so that's beautiful. I mean, that, that says that the, their whole soul is love, exuding love. They are love, uh, true love, guided by this deep knowing, you know, with the crown chakra activated there and the magician. There's this opening, this connection to source, to the collective, to everything. And mentally, he is acute. He is um, he's trying to manifest. You know, this is pure consciousness coupled with the crown chakra. Um, just tells me that you know he's got a lot of inspiration ideas flowing towards him. Um, he's downloading information, wisdom. Um, he's taking action. He knows what he wants. He, there's so much clarity and insight here about how he feels in this connection. The love is real. It's true. Okay, so I just want to pull a little cluster of cards here just to find out what is meant by the heart chakra. There's no timeline with the cards. Holy crap. 11-11 card, twin flame, connection, synchronicity, signs, 
of course, because he's his crown chakra is wide open, so he is picking up. Why, why am I saying he? I apologize. Um, because I'm thinking of the opposite sex with me. So it, omit the fact that I'm saying he. If I do, I apologize. Um, okay, so this person is definitely awake, aware, um, and connected to source and picking up on those signs and synchronicities. And when you see 1111, that means that the twin flame connection is near. Um, it's waking you to other forces, right? And then we got the powerhouse solar plexus chakra there. So three chakra activations so far. So there is a powerful uh, magnetic attraction or connection that he, he or she feels. And it's like he's drawn to the light, to the power, to the the reality of it. And then we got the high priest, which is, um, you know, the hierophant, somebody who is all knowing again, crown chakra activation. He is the, she, he or she is light worker. Okay. The, this is a male energy here with the high priest, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a male. Um, but there's this divine knowing this, um, long line of, um, mastery behind this card that gives him the confidence to stand up and be a light worker and you know it the more he or she connects with source and his or her <laughs> um, divinity they get more power from it so this connection has made this person very spiritually enlightened, illuminated. So emotionally, um, the other person is the chariot. So this person is moving forward. Um, they're taking control of their life. They are directing that energy towards their goal, overcoming challenges, obstacles. Uh, that are, you know, this is a very emotionally driven card. Um, so it's, you know, pursuing things that make you happy, things that you're meant to do. You're driving that wave of abundance, um, but you're also in the vortex. You feel like everything's working out perfectly for you. So it is a movement forward emotionally, knowing what you want um, and going after it. All right, so we got three uh, movement forward cards, right? We got the two knights and then the chariot. Okay, so in the spiritual position, we have the rock star. So this is encouragement, power, uh, recognition, you know, feeling like you're in the light, you know, you, sh you deserve that recognition again kind of pointing towards this light worker um you know motivating the masses type of feeling what do you mean by the rock star these two oh this cluster okay what do you mean by the rock star wow wow so the nine of wands here I'm feeling is really talking about spiritual strength, um, being on this long journey and coming to, near to the end, crossing that finish line, giving so much of yourself, um, just powerful, strong, uh, being resilient to a pentacles, um, having this new seed of intention planted and growing, feeling off balance, but being able to bend with the wind, be resilient to the change. Uh, you're just pushing yourself forward towards your goal. So the seven of wands is somebody who speaks up, who has confidence, who needs to say something. 
and never gives up. And then we have the Four of Wands, beautiful, which is the Twin Flame Connection. You know, um, I see so much desire here to manifest this Four of Wands. Uh, and it's been a challenge for this person. They've been thrown, you know, into some difficult situations, but ultimately they've overcome those challenges and, you know, it was all worth it in the end. So, no, you know, it makes total sense that this person feels like the rock star right now. They've achieved so much and they're continuing to move forward towards this beautiful uh, twin flame connection. And I'm saying that not because there's a timeline here, but I feel, you know, they're still working towards it with the nine and the seven and the six and the two of pentacles. Um, and the, the ace, or sorry, the uh, alchemist there, the magician, that also tells me it's an activation. It's taking action in order to manifest this connection fully into the 3D. And then we have the knights and the chariot, which is movement forward. So this person hasn't fully reached their goal just yet. They're pursuing it. So I just want to pull a couple of cards for the slow and steady. So this is a 3D reality. So the energy they're projecting in the 3D is slow and steady. They're um, walking a tight rope, you know, so it, it, their every movement is planned. They will always arrive at their destination. Um, just confidence and control, taking it one day at a time. They're getting there. They're, they're invested. They're committed. Okay, so just a couple of cards. Okay, so the star card is hope for the future, feeling like your wishes will come true. Um, wanting a better life for yourself. So there's hope there. Um, and it also talks about healing energy, rejuvenation after the tower, after a difficult time. So we have this ghosting card here of the uh, Four of Cups. So there's a sense of disconnect, loneliness, longing, feeling like things aren't moving. You were hopeful for the future, but then there's this period of stagnation. Uh, the Destiny card is, you know, the wind of change coming in, transforming your life in a more positive direction. Uh, and I say that because we also have the Ace of Wands, which is passion, ignition, uh, a thrust forward in a very positive way, right? So the we got an 11 here with these two cards. So this shift was powerful, um, very inspired. And then the Seven of Swords, which kind of throws me for a loop. Um, the Seven of Swords is, you know, not being able to trust somebody. Um, fearfulness, you know, and, it, and obviously it's pointing to the Four of Cups over here. There is still healing happening from the past where somebody might have ghosted you or turned their back on you, um, you know, this other person. But then a change happened or is happening currently and you don't know if you can trust it, um, but you're staying course, right? Because the overall energy is slow and steady. So even though there may have been a disconnect in the 3D reality, there's a shift. And like I said, they're taking it slow and steady. They will arrive at their destination. Um, whether or not you trust them not to betray you again for whatever reasons um, is entirely up to you. So I want to know, what is this positive energy about the alchemist? Again, I'm just going to pull a cluster of cards here. Okay, so again with the um, Knight of Pentacles there, taking it slow and steady. This is in the mental space. They're thinking about you, reunion, uh, wanting to be connected, uh, loving thoughts, throat chakra, um, communicating how they feel. And then the sacral chakra is emotions. So there's this 
what they're thinking about is a reunion or coming towards you and offering their love and they want to speak up they want to connect on an emotional level and there's this feeling of of healing happening um so that's what he is or he, she is activating themselves to do to move forward in the 3d reality to communicate to express themselves to express themselves you know emotionally and romantically but there's a feeling that they want to have a serious talk so I'm just gonna pull something a card from my little deck here maybe next time um, one more restoration one more Change is coming. One more. Give of self. Okay. So, they're thinking of the next time, the reunion. Um, maybe this time there will be restoration, there will be healing. You know, it's, there's a hopefulness to it. And then an activation, making that decision, um, coming very slowly. So change is coming. There's something beautiful on the horizon. Commitment, right? This twin flame connection. And they're going to give of themselves. Share a piece of their soul, their heart. Say something they wanted to, to say. All right, so then I'm going to leave it at that. This is quite an intense reading. So it's pretty clear that this, whoever you're thinking of, be it male or female, um, has very strong romantic feelings for you. They know you're their twin flame. They feel true love in their heart. Uh, they are illuminated uh, from it, even though they're, the connection isn't completely... Um, you know, committed to, uh, there's definitely a movement towards that commitment and um, recognition of it. And they're, they want to talk. They want to express themselves emotionally. Um, that is such a beautiful reading. Okay, I'm going to pull one card for a clarifier. I'm going to go ahead and pull two cards, uh, one for the masculine energy, one for the feminine. So if you are a masculine, this card is for you, Storm Chaser. And if you are feminine, this card is for you, uh, Stranded. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's my computer. I hate Windows sounds. 29. Okay, so currents control me into the night. They try to entrap me. I knew that they might. I look to the stars and I know they're not right, but we all seek pleasure. So I look to my heart and I try to express the very forces I'm trying to repress, but each time I discover I'm loving it less, for we all seek pleasure. The lovely young mermaid sits upon the sea, awaiting the electrical storm. Unafraid, she welcomes the energy and excitement it will provide, prepared to harness it and relish in its power. She rides atop the waves expectantly and yet relaxed. So the meaning is expect creative energy. Yeah, there we go. Expect change. Um, yeah, a lot of excitement. Tap, oh sorry. You will soon be struck but with profound creative power. Tap into this energy and find the inspiration to create through art, writing, or another form of expression. Be warned, this force will build up and it will be released. It is best to select a proper creative outlet so it does not turn into destructive force. The creative energy can produce amazing results and tap into artistic reserves you never knew you had um, if you open yourself up to the power and are receptive at the right time. Now is the time to complete this project you have been waiting to finish but have been having trouble wrapping up. It is also an ideal time to start something new, your signature piece, your work of, of lifetime. If you do 
If you do not do it soon, you may miss out on an exceptional opportunity. Who knows when it will come again? <clears throat> Sorry, there's my throat chakra. Um, who knows when it'll come again, right? Uh, it's pointing to that maybe next time. So activate, act on it, move forward. Crazy synchronicities. All right, so that was... Oh, that's the masculine. Okay. The feminine got stranded. I'm getting my masculine and feminine energies mixed up here. Okay, so... Stranded. For a solitary seafarer, the time has come to weep. To weep. Longing, empty, yearning for her dreams, dreamt dark and deep. Forlornly lamenting, she aches to close a gap. She keeps... Remembering a loved one as she drifts off to sleep. Slipping into nothing, an oaken gnarled embrace, listlessly awaiting the sun's illustrious face. Alone on an island, swiftly shrinking in space, she is stranded alone, afraid and in disgrace. Alone and stuck in a gnarled tree on a deserted island, a melancholy mermaid stares into the distance, oblivious to the sun rising behind her. She is pale and lost in the river reeds. She is isolated and lonely, but why? The meaning, stop isolating yourself. You may feel deserted, but it is a self-imposed isolation. What you see as rejection is all in, in your mind. Others are not avoiding you. You are avoiding them preemptively, but uh, preventing them from rejecting you. It is not healthy to avoid relationships and interactions for fear of losing a loved one or of becoming embarrass it is time to take a step off the island you have created for yourself and join the rest of society make contact with a friend you have been avoiding go back to the class sorry go back to classes and meetings you've bowed out of and wisely invest in new modes of communication so you can talk once again with the world the world is waiting for you it is up to you to take the first step so like I'm, I'm feeling this power, this need to step up and speak out. So if this is a feminine energy, um, courage and strength is required to, you know, fully move forward. Emotionally, that you're the chariot. Overall. Your more water energy, which is a romantic, but in the 3D reality, um, things are very slow, and it's because there's some things that you haven't fully let go of or forgiven. But ultimately, your heart feels true love. Um, you want this twin flame connection, uh, but you need to speak up, say something and release yourself from that sense of strandedness okay and so storm chaser the masculine energy for you masculine is taking action taking control um feeling that ace of wands activation and change and move you know actually doing it otherwise that chance may pass you by so if you're drawn to take action do so so for a lot of masculines i feel there's like an activation there to step forward and you know be this light worker um but also downloading a lot of you know information from source or whatnot all right so i do hope this helps you guys i'm sending you massive love uh, don't forget my cards are for sale, so uh, the information is in the description box below. All right, cheers.